So as many of you know, one of the main things that we focus on on the channel is the story of Call of Duty. And I literally have hundreds of videos going over the story of Call of Duty, most of which are diving into individual characters' backstories, looking at Captain Price, David Mason, things like that. And in these hundreds of videos, I have not made one single video talking about the character who we're going to be talking about today. Yet, this is a main character in Call of Duty. Now, I could make this video and just pull any random character. For example, there's a character within Modern Warfare 2 in the mission Loose Ends who is literally called Ozone. I'm not talking about a character like that whatsoever. I'm talking about a main character who you play as, who not only you play as, should also currently be within Modern Warfare 2 and is not. And nobody's talking about it. And that is what I would like to talk about in this video. Who is this character? What was his backstory? And where that character is now? Before we dive into that character, I just wanted to quickly tell you about Gamer Advantage. The glasses that I wear in my videos, the glasses that I wear while I game, they are blue light glasses. They protect your eyes from the blue light that comes out of your computer to monitors or in your screens that you look at. By using these glasses, it allows you to game harder, longer, without any eye strain, without any headaches. It is really, really nice. If you don't have a pair of these, you should really check them out. But on top of that, they're actually going to be able to help you sleep better at night and then get up the next day and game just as hard the next day. If you want to check out their glasses, you can click the link down in the description and you can use code INC at checkout, which is going to give you 10% off your order. Now, back to that character. Like I mentioned, this is the main character, the character that you play as. And that character is, of course, Gary Roach Sanderson. Breaks over, Roach. Let's go. So Gary Roach Sanderson, he was introduced in Modern Warfare 2. His first mission was Cliffhanger. He was working alongside Soap McTavish, and it appeared as though their relationship was going to be similar to the relationship between Price and Soap, how Soap would kind of be Roach's new mentor as a member of Task Force 141. Now, what's interesting about Roach is as a main character of the game, we don't really have any background on him. We don't know where he was born, and we don't even know where he was from. He doesn't speak in game whatsoever, so we can't link any sort of accent or any sort of dialect to any region in the world. Now, as far as the missions that he was involved in within Modern Warfare 2, first of all, we have recovering the ACS within Cliffhanger alongside Captain McTavish. We have the capturing of Alejandro Rojas. Of course, we have the rescuing of Prisoner 627, where they raid the Gulag, go in, and then eventually save Captain Price. We have the assault on the submarine base. This is the one where the massive EMP goes off. And then finally, we have the raid on Makarov's safe house. This is one of the craziest missions of all time in Call of Duty. And a lot of people refer to it as the mission where Ghost died. But keep in mind, Ghost wasn't the only one. Roger, hit him hard on that hill. Make sure they're down. Roger, get I'm on it. Coming around, get up, get up. Five, zero. Roger, I got it lined up. Gold Eagles on the ground. Watch your snipers on thermal. Over. So I want you to think for a moment. This is a scene where your character, the character you play as in this game, dies. However, everyone refers to it as the scene and the moment where Ghost, Simon Riley, dies. I want you to think for a second how rare it is for the main character, the playable character in a game, to actually die in a cutscene that isn't at the very end of the game where the series is continuing. This is something that almost never happens, yet people don't refer to it as the scene where Roach died, it's the scene where Ghost died. And I wanted to discuss further in this video why I believe that that is. But first, I wanted to dive into one other thing with Modern Warfare 2 and the present day Modern Warfare 2. If we go and have a look at the original members of Task Force 141 from the original Modern Warfare 2, let's compare them to the characters that have returned within the current Modern Warfare 2. We obviously know Simon Ghost Riley, Ghost is in the game. We know that Soap McTavish is in the game. Captain Price is in the game. Even General Shepard, who ended up being an evil character, is once again an evil character in the present day game. Then we have Nikolai, who returned in the original Modern Warfare 2019. 
but the one, the one character who you'll play as in the original Modern Warfare 2, Gary Roach Sanderson, has not returned at all. Not even to be mentioned. Even Gaz, a very minor character from the original Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, has made his way into Modern Warfare in this present Modern Warfare series. That's not to mention the fact that like every single evil character from the original Modern Warfare trilogy has been implemented in the game too. Just look at them. You have Khalid al-Assad, you have Imran Zakaev, you have Viktor Zakaev, you have Vladimir Makarov who has been added in. You even have Shepard. Now, I did want to quickly point out that there was one theory that Roach was added with the original Modern Warfare 2019. I actually think I made up the theory, but as far as it went, you were introduced to a character by the name of Alex. It was a CIA code name and you were introduced to him at the very beginning of Modern Warfare 2019. By the end of the game, he was in a giant explosion and he ends up making his way out and having a prosthetic leg. And who do we all know can survive any explosion but a cockroach? I almost thought as though Modern Warfare 2019 was going to be an origin story to who Gary Roach Sanderson really was. But as we found out with the very first First raid, Alex's code name of Alex wasn't actually a code name, and his real name is Alex Keller. I thought that was a little silly that they did that, and we know that Roach's name is Gary Sanderson, so that doesn't line up, unfortunately, but I thought that would have been a really cool origin story. Now, let's answer the question why everyone forgets about Roach. It's fairly simple. If we have a look at the present day Call of Duty games, when we look at our playable characters, whether you're looking at Alex or whether you're looking at Gaz from Modern Warfare 2019, when we would see cutscenes for the game, when they would develop the characters, when we'd hop into cutscenes, even though we were playing as these characters, the cutscenes wouldn't be in first person. It would jump out to third person and we'd be able to see these characters from afar and see how their story progresses. This happens with a lot of characters throughout Modern Warfare 2019. You play as Farah, you play as Alex, you play as Gaz, but in all of the cutscenes, you see them in third person and it builds their story. However, when we go back to the original Modern Warfare 2, Look at Roach. Whenever there's a cutscene, whenever something happens, he is not in it. He doesn't talk. He doesn't move. He is just there alongside the other Task Force 141 characters. Essentially, what Roach actually was, was a camera who you were playing. He has no speakable lines. He has no actions that he takes throughout the game. He is basically just a way for you to view the other Task Force 141 characters. That's why when we see Roach die alongside Ghost, people aren't saying that Roach died. They're saying Ghost died because he was actually a character you could see. You could see his actions. And on top of that, he even had lines. So this is just one way where you can see the very big differences in game development from the original Modern Warfare to what we have now. Now, every character is important. Every character has voice lines. It doesn't matter whether you're playing as that character or they're one of the tertiary ones. They all add to the story. To answer the question, will Roach be returning within Modern Warfare 2? I don't know. There's currently no mention of him. And if he does, I'd be very interested to see what they do for voice acting or whether he comes back at all. The other interesting thing is with the next Call of Duty game rumored to be Modern Warfare 3, the other character who would be set to return alongside Makarov would be Yuri. I'd be very interested to see how that one plays out and if he comes back once again as well. But for now, that was the backstory of Roach, how he fits into the Call of Duty lore and where he might be going forward. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on to stay up to date on all my videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars.